What's up RGC family? So the Kitty Chapter 7 secret ending just launched and I'm going to show you how to beat it right now. And the first thing you're going to notice is these cage pumpkins right here. So we're going to head right over here into the forest and we're going to flip the first switch and you'll notice that the green light has changed right here. And now I'm going to show you where the next secret ending button location is, which is just around the corner here at the monument. Okay, so now as we head back over here near the pumpkins, you'll see that two of the three lights are activated. So I will show you where the third switch is in just a moment. But first, we need to start getting some pieces for the regular Kitty Chapter 7 ending. So we're going to head over here and we're going to look for the lockpick and the kitty skull. And as we round the curve through these bushes, you'll see the kitty skull sitting right here on the ground. So let's grab that and let's head on through here. And we want to grab the crowbar and the lockpick next. So let's check the first spawn location of the crowbar. It's right here. So let's grab that. And now we're going to look for the lockpick. And here's one of the spawn locations right here. So we have that. And what we're going to do next is we're going to head past the mansion because that's the third and final location of the buttons for unlocking the pumpkins. And you'll find it right here. So we're going to flip the switch, make sure it turns green, and that will lower the cage for the pumpkins for the Kitty Chapter 7 secret ending. But we have another new piece right here, and that's the knife. And it's located inside this chest right here, which you need the lock pick to unlock. So let's grab the knife. And now we're going to head over here through the house. So we're going to make our way over to the graveyard area, unlock the door and head downstairs. Flip the switch here. Let's use the lock click and the crowbar to unlock the regular ending door right here. So now that we've done that, we don't need the crowbar anymore. And let's take the skull and place it on top of the skeleton. Now, as we come through here, you're gonna notice something new and that's this casket right here with a chain on it. So we're gonna need some pliers. So let's flip the switch and we're gonna head back upstairs and I'll show you where you can get the pliers next. So in order to get the pliers, we need to make our way through the house and out near the cage. Before we do that, let's see if the hammer is over here. And yes, it is. So let's grab it because we're going to need it in just a moment. Now make your way through the forest and head straight ahead to where this monument is. And you'll find the pliers right here in the middle. So grab the pliers and we're going to head over here and we're going to use the knife because we're going to carve these pumpkins. And as we do that, you're going to see we have two new pieces that we need, which are bats and some type of blue amulet. So you no longer need the knife. So you can go ahead and drop that. But now we're going to head back over here towards the boat. And we're going to use the mallet and find the first two bat locations. And don't forget, guys, if you aren't already a member of the RGC Family Discord server, you should join because we do weekly contests, giveaways and more. So let's open up the shipping container right here and we're going to grab one of these planks and we're going to walk over this way. Now, you're going to notice that there was nothing in this room before, but now there's a bat. And that's one of the secret item that we need to complete this map. So let's head upstairs and all the way across the boat and make our way upstairs. And we're going to get Fred's scarf and there's another location of the secret ending bats up here. So let's go into this door. And you're going to see Fred's scarf right here. And as you turn around, there's another bat right there. Now, we need six bats in total. And I'll be showing you all the locations in this video. So let's drop down here and we're going to head back across the boat. And don't forget, guys, if you aren't already a subscriber of RGC Family, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and mash that bell icon. You'll get notified anytime we post a new video. All right, so we're going to head back over to where the monument is and we're going to place these bats in the pumpkin. And again, we've got two now, but we need four more for six bats total. So let's place these two in here. There you go. And now we're gonna go place Fred's scarf over here. And now we're gonna head downstairs and use these pliers. So we'll make our way back through the forest and through the graveyard. And we're gonna head on downstairs. And so we're gonna hang a right and we're gonna take these pliers over to this area where the sarcophagus was. And we're going to open up this by cutting the chain. And you see that we get a blue amulet. So that's awesome. So let's go ahead and grab the duster right here. And we're going to get the Scooby Snacks since we're already in this area. And remember, guys, you need two Scooby Snacks. So we grab those. And now we can head back upstairs. And guys, if you aren't already an RGC crew member, be sure to hit that join button as you'll get exclusive perks, sneak previews, and more. 
You even get priority access to our live streams before anyone else can join. So let's take this blue amulet over here to the small pumpkin on the left. Let's put that in there. And now we're gonna go drop our Scooby Snack down right here. So now we're gonna head back across the map and use our duster to get Daphne's lipstick. Now we're gonna walk across this super cool tree and we're gonna use the duster to remove the cobwebs in this window. Once we do, you'll see the cabinet with Daphne's lipstick and a bat located right next to it. So let's grab the lipstick. Let's grab this bat hanging upside down here. And now we're gonna head over into this area, but we're gonna go upstairs because there's two more bat locations right up here. So let's grab this and let's grab this. And now we're going to head back downstairs and we're going to be looking for that final bat location. So you can find the final bat location right behind the steps and on the floor right here. So flip the switch and head back upstairs and now you're ready to place all of the bats. But before we do, let's go ahead and grab Velma's glasses too. So we need the duster to remove these cobwebs right here. We're going to grab Velma's glasses. Now we're going to remove the remaining cobwebs and make our way over to the monument, place Velma's glasses and Daphne's lipstick, and now we can grab the ending totem. Now we're going to place the final bats into this pumpkin right here, and once we do that, you'll see the red amulet, which is the secret ending item, spawn right here next to the pumpkin. So that thing is looking super awesome. And now we have everything we need to complete the Kitty Chapter 7 secret ending. So let's make our way back downstairs and let's get excited for that Kitty Chapter 7 secret ending cutscene. And don't forget guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial video, please be sure to leave us a like as it really helps our channel grow. And don't forget to hold the amulet as you exit this chapter to get that secret ending. Now let's take a look at the Kitty Chapter 7 secret ending cutscene. So far, this is all the same. I wonder what's going to be different, guys. I can see the red amulet in the mouse's hand. Aha, you have the vampire talisman. This is interesting. <laughs> Eat the kitty? Oh my gosh. He's going to eat the kitty. No way. Oh, he looks kind of sick. Oh, he's throwing up. <laughs> That's great, guys. Oh, he didn't like the taste of the kitty. Oh, and kitty hits the mouse. Let's see if anything changes here. We're heading to Gravity Falls. Okay, guys, don't forget to check out the rest of our videos right here on RGC Family. See ya!